ADR is going to go significantly up. Uh, yeah. But I, I don't know. I, I think this is going to be a very interesting matchup. Also, this is Chile versus uh, Ch Chile versus Brazil. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting to see how that goes out. Cl classic rivalry. And so we're going through stage picks right now. It looks like they are redoing it. <laughs> and some strikes going inside to run it back one more time. Western Air Temple, Apocalypse, Fortress, all gone. No more Enigma. We got either Fabled, Demon Island, or Miami Dome. I usually don't see Fable as a starter stage, but, you know, different region, different meta. Yeah, absolutely. And we'll definitely have to see what the meta of South America is going to be this time around. Just because in EU, it was a lot more Axe and Lance, but will we see the same thing going forward? And uh, it looks like we have a little bit of Gauntlet, a little bit of Blaster here and there. We see a Lance and a Spear coming out of Noi, but I don't know. I mean, it's going to be interesting to see how they really use it. And we saw a lot of teams already that have used both um, Axe and Lance to their advantage and in a little bit of Gauntlet. So we're going to Miami Dome. We're going into... Small, scrappy stage leads to a lot of aggression. Very fitting for this region as a whole. As right now, just from right off the bat, both teams getting into a scramble. No clear winner, just two separate 1v1s on both sides of the stage. But we see right now a Molly off stage having to make their way back. Good coverage from Noi, and still very, very even in this first game. Yeah, absolutely, but we're seeing a lot of neutral control, a lot of control from the red team on with the map. And the more neutral control, a lot more of the control of the platform that you have, the more likely you're going to be able to land team combos and land these different combos that you can land on your opponents here and there, whether it be blasters, axe, or whatever weapon. We're seeing a lot of red team going ahead and getting these axe uh, neutralized into recoveries there, able to go and knock out um the, the amali there and then right now noel noise coming ahead and, and trying to go and knock out uh, kato yeah and you see like kunja holding onto this stock for so long they get the first one of the game and they're able to extend it so much further i mean every extra bit of damage here is just extra credit that adds up over the course of this set so kunja doing a fantastic job still more team combos coming out on the red side as well yeah, red team's really holding the ground so far. They're kind of separating both blue team members kind of to themselves, allowing them to go and get some team combos. Even when it looks like they're really, really close, they're still able to say, you know what, you're going to go here, you're going to go here, and we're going to be able to land a team combo. Yeah, and I mean, again, red hellfires all around, but still two stocks ahead. The right side is in potential, like, forced, forced oh! ugly, but no, the double <laughs> KO coming out. But again, the blue side still so far behind. That one's kind of a given. Now, can you work through these four remaining stocks of the red side? Now, the real question is, are they going to remain barbecue sauce red or are they going to become the spicy barbecue sauce red? <laughs> are they going to use that red part of their stock to their advantage? It looks like not because the red team was able to knock out both blue team members of their second stocks while trying to group, take back that platform control. And red team's really showing what they're made of right now. Yeah, and the, the really cool thing to me is like, even when red team's like in a scramble, they're still managing to find these team combos. Even like when they're in the middle of, you know, four different people, they still manage to pull it out. And look at this, look at how far they're just extending this lead even further. Yeah, and right now both blue team members are starting to get into that, that low red color. And I mean, this is something that blue team has to realize. You have to go ahead and try to take advantage of where the red team's currently at. We see Noi getting knocked out on the first <laughs> Oh, all Molly the way down, out. slides off the stage, holds that gravity, cancel. What a beautiful start here in game number wow. one. Yeah, that's a huge one, especially for the red team. I mean, throughout that entire round that they just had, red team was able to go ahead, separate both blue team members, kind of focus on one, do these team combos, and then go on to the next person, do that team combo, back to back to back to back, and build this huge lead over the blue team. It's a very nice job coming out of Kunja and uh, Unru Kato and Rio there. And that's, we'll have to see what happens going forward. We'll see what, if we get new character picks from the blue team. Yeah, I mean, that was a, that was a statement game from the red yeah. side. So some characters, some legend swaps are definitely in order. I mean, Kunja just went insane <laughs> that last game. I mean, for sure. I mean, if, even if you're looking at the damage differences there, I mean... Kato and Real did very, very well. I mean, going in with the axe, but I mean, Kunja had an insane amount of damage too. So 
We're going into the next game. They're trying to figure out which map they want to go and strike out. I think you're going to be going over gone. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, ooh, we got Sidra and Diana coming in for the blue team. So no Orion and, and no, no theater character either. So we'll have to see what happens. Yeah, I mean, a good mix of, you know, mid-range weapons. That cannon, you're able to be very mobile yeah. horizontally. Still able to pump out a lot of damage as well. Have to see how it pans out here. Game number two underway. I don't know. Molly's kind of treating it like it's not game number two. Treating it like it's going to be the final round here. I don't know. But, I mean, just going crazy with that cannon. Just willing to go off edge. And that's why Kato is now down uh, into the orange of that first stock already. So, right now, we're starting to see blue team kind of changing things around a little bit more into their favor with these character swaps. But uh, we'll see what happens here. Yeah, I mean, there's always that adaptation. You, know, you pull out the swap, your opponent's maybe not ready for it, but as the game goes on, they get more used to it. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, we already have a Molly getting knocked out of that very first dock as well. So red team's kind of changing that disadvantage that they had uh, into their favor at the moment. Noise saying, nope, all right. Kato's gonna go ahead and get knocked out of that very first dock. Things are relatively even though, as we get a minute in, we have Kunji and Noi on their very first stock still, but very in the red, orange style of their stocks, while Molly's in the orange and Kato is in the yellow of their second stock. So Yeah, I mean, that's the thing about forward. Kunji is like, even if they go deep into the red, their survivability has been very clutch throughout this game. Yeah. Sure. And right now, I mean, red team, I mean, synergy coming in from both of those players and the flexibility <laughs> that they have to adapt against the blue team as they say the commentator's curse comes in both blue every team, time and both red team members get knocked out by uh the blue team there yeah i mean eyes on amalia at this point yeah. that's how he equalize if you're a red team you gotta get that ko but in the process you gotta be careful i mean nori perfectly yeah. happy to punish any sort of over aggression amali does get knocked out red team took a decent amount of damage in the process though yeah but noi kind of knocked amali into that knockout option there too so we'll definitely have to see molly's gonna have to hold that final stock that they have the final life that they have at the moment and uh has to be very careful with how you have to play it i mean but yeah. also kato is very low on that yeah, final exactly. stock too so i mean they're in the low low red i mean blue team could take advantage of that and have a 1v2 situation yeah, I mean, over the course of this set, it, Kato hasn't really been the one to hang on to stocks that long, so you gotta be a little worried for Red Team. Sure, you have the stock lead, but look at those health bars. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, 100%. And uh, as long as Kato holds that stock, I mean, that's just gonna give them more and more of the ability of winning. But as they say, that Kato gets knocked out of the final stock. QNG now has to deal with a 2v1 situation while also losing their second stock. So it's a 1v2 situation. Can Kuji come back from this with the loot? I mean, you gotta. There's the weapon. Can you even grab it? I don't think so. It's right. it's so so hard because that's like that's half the battle. Sure, you got the weapon now. You took a decent amount of damage in the process, and you're already in a 2v1. Maybe hope for a team, you know, team KO. <laughs> That's it's always it's always a possibility. Amali is getting into that red health, so up to Nori to be patient enough to give Amali some space without actually knocking out their uh, knocking out their teammate. Ooh. Kunji though finds an opening, still at a bit of a life deficit, but much much easier battle. It definitely is an easier battle, but Noi's also got that bow dare that they're trying to take advantage of. Taking advantage of those light attacks with bow being so quick, so fast. Can go ahead and get Kunji out of that final stock here. But I mean, Kunji right now on the blasters trying to go ahead, get the damage build up oh. on the Noi. Noi's now in the red. It is an even match. If weapon throw recovery coming from Noi, Kunji now having the gauntlets, trying to go ahead and get this knockout, trying to get the read on the Noi. Noi picking his blasters. This is close here between both of these players. Noi with no options. Kunji with the gauntlet new slayer, but misses it. It'd be close here there, uh, by oh my goodness. Who's gonna get the oh! sig? Noi with the call out. After that entire stock, Kunji was doing such a good job of calling out Noi's approaches, but at the very end, Noi turns it around beautiful stuff he was like you know what i'm not allowing you to go ahead and turn that around well i'm just gonna go and knock you out with that diana neutral signature make it easy make it peasy for him 
Um, but right now, we had map striking between both these teams. And uh, I think we're all in the same characters. We're going back to Apocalypse here. I don't know. I mean, I think the red team now realizes, okay, noise kind of going crazy. We might have to keep an eye on them. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, again, throughout these games, Kunja has been a very consistent force. So now the the pressure is kind of on Kato to start turning it up a little bit, to try and maintain onto those stocks as long as you can so you don't have to rely on a 2v1 situation. Absolutely. And as, as long as they can hold their stock enough, I mean, the way that Kunji has been playing, I mean, they'll be able to go ahead and stay alive for a lot longer and not have to deal with a lot more stress than they would usually have in the previous rounds. So right now, it does look like a lot of back and forth. Blue team starting to take that neutral control over the red team. Amali is trying to take Kunji off the ledge a little bit. Trying to get yep. some team combos with Noi. Noi is trying to deal with Kato, but Kato is trying to find some type of way of doing some damage build up while not yeah, also I mean, giving out their stock. Kato's just been like staying center stage and making it really awkward for the blue team to land. And that's been working Ooh. out super well. One for one trade, bit of a life deficit on the red side. But again, uh, now Kato is the one maintaining that stock. We've already seen what Kunja can do, even if they're behind. So that's boding well for the long-term prospects, even though red team is slightly behind right now. They are a little bit behind, and that's coming down to that control from the blue team. I mean, they're separating Kunji and Kato at the moment. With Kato going down to their second stock, and blue team trying to land his team combo on the Kunji. The damage in from Amali. But now, now Amali's the one off stage. You see, like, blue team's trying to get these team combos to work, and it's just a little bit mistimed, a little bit misspaced. Red team perfectly happy to capitalize on that. Oh yeah, for sure. And, I mean, right now, blue team has is one stock above. Oh, Kunji gets knocked out of the second stock. Now coming back on their final, blue team's going to try to go ahead and punish Kato and make him go down to their final as well, so that they can 2v1 Kunji. Kunji with the blast recovery there onto Mali. Noi trying to get this knockout on Kato as well. A lot of trading, a lot of back and forth. And I mean, Kato. You have to be so careful right now. Kunji in a 2v1 on stage. This is such an awkward position to get yourself out of. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a two stock deficit for the red team. They definitely need to go ahead and hold those stocks as much as they can and do team damage build up, you know, onto the opponents. I mean, they're kind of flying around like crazy. They had the blue team kind of hit each other a little bit while also maximizing on team combos. Uh, there we go. Just get that little two piece in. Nice job. And Noi is out Ooh. of that second stock. Amali is still alive. Kunji thought that Amali was going to die to Kato, but I mean, it's Amali is still alive until Kunji says, you know what? Two piece recovery knockout. And the red team lands his team combo oh, 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 onto oh. Noi. And Noi's now in orange. And again, it's like, yeah, Kunji's in the red, but like, look at how much work they're still able to do. Oh, yeah. 100%. It's not over until the stock is out. That's all I gotta say for that. And right now, Noi's off that ledge. Red team with that team combo onto Molly. Molly's out of here! And Red team now having a 2v1 situation against Noi. No Who's weapon. gonna get the knockout. Downlight coming in. Red team has that neutral control. Noi knocks out Kunji. Kato versus Noi. Who's gonna take it here, Bio? One v now it's a one or two v one on the other side and Noi the weapon toss I think that's it. Oh, Noi taking this round to their team's name. Very nice job. It was down to the final stock red between a, in a one v one. That was definitely a very very close matchup from both of these teams and I think now it's going to be interesting to see how this next round goes. I mean this is a best of the five so I don't know. It's going to be interesting. I mean. The amount of damage taken from the blue team is kind of insane. 1,200 damage taken. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> Good grief. They got smacked around a little bit, but like at the end, Noi was able to close it out. So it's, it's, you saw what the red team was going for. Like they had yeah. the lead, they had everything set up, but then Noi with the outplay manages to take blue team ahead two to one. But we're still, you know, it's still very close. Going back to the first stage that we went to here, this Miami Dome. Anyone's guess as to how this is going to play out. Well, especially with how these platforms are stationary, a lot of teams will have team combos that they can 
uh, use which platform involvement. So they'll be able to use those platforms to take the platform control from an opponent. They'll be able to say, you know what, we go for a down light in the middle of the air. Stuff like that. But right now, Blue Team's taking that neutral control from the red team. The red team's kind of been jumping around a little bit. I don't think they're really preferring the platforms. Oh, 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 oh. with the grab down. Kuji, trying to knock out Molly. Oh, look at this uh, coverage close. from Red Team, but well, that's all happening. Nori respawns and manages to reverse things. What's oh! going on at the top? Did, did, did Kunji just knock out their own teammate? <laughs> I don't <recovery>? know. <laughs> Holy crap. Nice bait coming in from the blue team, making sure that the, the team, the teammates can go ahead and knock each other out. Oh, I mean, it can happen both ways. Oh, yeah. As we Hi, see there. Man. Yes, oh. like slight lead here for blue team, but those health bars are looking pretty dangerous. And you know, you get the 2v1 on the red side. I think you're feeling pretty happy of that if Noi is the one who's knocked out. Yeah, 100%. And I mean, shoot, and Molly's still on the first stock. Yeah. That's also a thing. And they've just been going crazy with cannon. Look at the grab out. Oh. Look at the double knockout on both red team members. Holy, in mid 30 and both red team members are down to their final stock. Blue team is up three stocks at the moment. My gosh, blue team. Oh, yeah. that's recovery knockout. Yeah, I mean, now is, now is the time to equalize, but the problem is it's like, there's still two stocks on Amali because they were able to stock tank for so long. So like, it's it's looking like blue team's gonna take this set. It's He's gonna take a miracle from red team to turn it around. Yeah, and right now, I mean, Kato's going crazy with those uh, Barraza signatures. And we're starting to see blue team kind of have an approach to counter the, the spacing with it. So we're seeing them kind of dash, kind of seeing them jump over the signatures a little bit. Ooh. But what the blue team couldn't do was dodge Kato's falling side air. Oh. And Noi is out of that final stack, leading to a 2v1 situation. And Amali still has their two stocks. Both red team members are really low on those final stocks here. Yeah, we've had three of the four players in this set have to do a 2v1. And so now it's Amali's turn. You got a fresh stock to work with. I mean, we, 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 we saw this play out last time. Blue team ended up taking the 2v1. So you have to, you respect that. If you're on the red side, that recovery almost sealing the deal. And here's the thing, if Amali and Noi win, or if Amali wins this 2v1, they win the set and advance further into bracket over Kato and Kunja. This is definitely a very big deal there for Amali. They don't want to go into the game five situation. They want to go ahead and knock out Kato and Kunji. They're trying to pick up, the, pick up that weapon. They pick up the cannon. And they're just trying to bait the red Whoa. team. In the signatures, there's one. Kato and Amali are doing a 1v1 situation. Kato misses that signature. Amali's trying to punish it with that cannon. Should be close. You got to be scared of that cannon. It hits so hard. Oh my God. Can you even make it back? Turn? Oh, the weight. Oh. That patience oh. from Amali. Kato able to touch the wall, oh. grabs the ax as well. It's not over yet. This is gonna be close. It's down to the final parts of their stocks. Both players in the red. Oh, Got a big oh. Molly with the three knockout. Holy. 700 damage from Kato Jeez. wasn't enough to close it out. That patience was beautiful from a Molly. Well-deserved victory. Very, very nice job, but it came down to that signature read. That was very, very risky coming out of Kato and Real, and Amali read it far ahead of time and was able to dodge out of it. I mean, holy. I mean, <laughs> you Kato did 700 damage that game. Yep. They, almost carried, they almost carried that entire game there. Holy. And that's oh. just the first set. Yeah. That's set number one. We got <laughs> three more planned in this schedule. Uh, it looks like the next one is going to be uh, Alizo and Manexo versus the two hard pronounced Ooh. names that I'm going to attempt, uh, Steyer and Renazera. And it sounds a little bit like you got it right there. And both those teams, I recognize Alzo and Manexo. I believe I've casted some of their sets previously as well. But Steyer and Renazera.